This video will walk you through setting up your iPad for the first time. Let's quickly go over a few important notes about taking care of your iPad. First, do not take your iPad out of the case and don't remove any labels from the iPad or the case. If your iPad has a screen cover, always close the cover when the iPad is not in use. We have several different iPad models that are in use in grades K through 6, with a few different styles of cases. Regardless, all the iPads share a few common features. The home button is the round button on the front of the iPad, which is right next to the lightning port where you would plug the iPad in to charge. The power button is on the top right of the iPad, and the volume buttons are on the right edge just around the corner from the power button. Next, we're going to walk through the steps to set up your iPad for the first time. That will involve setting the location and the language, connecting it to Wi-Fi, signing in with your GoMounts account, and then signing into iCloud. On the screen that's showing hello in different languages, press the home button, then tap on English, and then United States. On the quick start screen, tap on Setup Manually. Next, you will set up a Wi-Fi network. If you're at school, select EASD underscore setup. If you're doing this at home, select your home Wi-Fi network. It will take a few minutes for your iPad to activate. We're going to sign in two different times during the setup. Each time is nearly identical with one small difference that I'll show you. So first you're going to enter your 800 number and then your password. For kindergarten through fourth grade students this is just your four digit birth date. For fifth and sixth grade students this is your five digit password. If you don't know what your password is, your parents or your teacher can look up this password in PowerSchool under School Info. Again, it may take a few minutes while the configuration is loaded onto the iPad. Next, you will sign into iCloud. You'll use your same 800 number, but you'll add at gomounts.org to the end of it. When you see the screen that says Apple ID for Effort Area School District, tap Continue. When you get to the Ephrata branded login page, enter the same password as the previous step. Go ahead and select yes if it asks you to stay logged in. Once again, it might take a few minutes for the process to complete. Finally, when you get to the Location Services page, tap Enable Location Services. There's one last step to take if you are setting up your iPad at school. Open the Settings app and tap on Wi-Fi from the left-hand column. And then in the right hand column under My Networks, tap on EASD. Once it connects to EASD, then the setup is complete. 